Hello everybody, what is up Proptos here? As you can see, this week we're going to be actually be doing a couple of uh, Bleach games. So these ones actually never came out in the US. These, uh, as you can see, came out from about 2005. So yeah, I was definitely uh, in high school still when this came out in Japan. And I think by the time we finally started getting some of these games in the US, it was one of the fighting games for the Nintendo DS and... I want to say, yeah, also on the Nintendo Wii. So, fortunately, we didn't get some of these. Back in the day, I did kind of basically have a couple of the Japanese versions of the fighting games, but I never got a chance to mess around with any of these PlayStation 2 ones. So, we're going to be doing two different ones. Uh, so, the first one we're going to be doing here is called Bleach Era Bareshi uh, Tamashi. So, yeah, I don't know anything about this game or how it plays, but we're going to go ahead and check that out and see basically how good it is. So, I also gotta remember these games are Japanese so they don't use the X, they use the O button to select things. So, go ahead and do new game. Oh yeah, I got the classic bleach. Yeah, it was definitely, I wanna say it's definitely gonna be from the very beginning. Look okay, at little character profiles for all of them. Okay, so as far as I know, this one should be semi like a story based game. Like I said, for whatever weird reason, the menu was actually fully in English, but then of course, you know, the rest of the games, unfortunately not going to be, but you know, it's like we expect it was a Japanese only release. There's just somebody out there who somehow made a patch for this game, which I doubt, but it'd be neat if they did. Okay, I was gonna say, can we skip past this? See, look, see that we have the... That's so interesting. They're like, the game's definitely not an English game, but then some of the menus are. Okay, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, Urahara. There's no subtitles. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and say we just start with a uh, mission select. Oh, looks like we're starting out at Cemetery, which is like when Ichigo is they're having their was a yearly memorial for their his mother. Let's see. If I remember correctly, I think the shorter one means yes. All right. So I played Japanese games enough back in the day. I'm like, all right, the long one is no, the short one is yes. So go ahead and do Ichigo. Ikuze. And let's go ahead and do Ishida. Yeah. Also, if you make the stick go back and forth enough, you can get Kon to actually. So I miss back when PS2 games would do this. Oh shit. Okay. So I remember the Budokai games did that. They're like, oh, you're waiting for the game to load? Here, just wiggle your stick a bunch or press the button to actually get a bunch of them to spawn. The one thing I don't like is that the directional thing's inverted. There's not an issue with that stuff as a kid. Well, that's why I think the trigger kind of straightened the camera out, so. Oh, we got. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, I guess. Oh. Okay, so I was, I was about, just about to say. So I was trying to figure out what the buttons actually do, so. Okay, so from here. X will. Okay, so I guess it, if I'm near the enemies, the X button will basically switch me between Ichigo and Ishida. Okay, so that's... A barrier is broken. Okay, so... Anyways, what I was trying to do is, so... Uh, got normal strikes. 
That seems more of a heavier attack. Okay, so that was, I guess, in their O button is your special attack. A block. Oh, this one actually, I can rush for it. Okay. Yeah, basically what I was trying to do is actually just figure out what the controls are. Because some of these older games are just like, hey, just fucking go at it. We are not explaining the controls, okay? Not too bad. Oh. What? what do we got over here? Okay, so I got defensive. Hey, I fucking see you. Anybody else? Oh, I think Ishida is still. Oh, okay. So I can build that up, and if I press it near him, it looks like I get Ishida to do one of his specials. So if this actually came out, what, during back when Bleach was there, and I probably would have been entertained by this. Yeah, I definitely, I want to say we're definitely on the 360 era by the time this game actually released. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I mean, we're on the three, like the Xbox 360, basically, when Bleach did kind of come out in the U.S., Clear this area. So, so far it looks like it's kind of one of those games where, you know, you fight a section of enemies and it clears up another area, then I'm assuming we'll eventually hit a boss. No, we should have. What will we do? What does this do over here? Is that ups our attack? Oh, we got some bigger ones. What does this do? This is life recovery. First we got Khan doing the mission clear. realize too, I think it actually gives like a friendship ranking. Or maybe you have to level that up, I don't know. Because I saw the friendship with them just going like, no, I ain't working with this guy, because I was like, yeah, they always kind of butted heads, so that makes sense. I'll have to double check it. Okay, so now we got mission two. I do Ichigo. Okay, so yeah, so each person does actually kind of have their own little ranking. Ichigo is now is kind of like, all right, we'll work together. But before they're like, yeah, no. Let's go ahead and do Rukia. See if we need to call the draw his little thing. They're gonna miss it. Well, nowadays we don't really have much loading screens, but like the older PS2 games when they actually like here, here's a little activity to do while you wait for the game to load. This game could definitely benefit from non-inverted controls and also. A little bit better on the camera angles, but it's okay. It's an early PS2 game. Well, not super early, but it's better than five. Hey, Rukia. 
Okay, she got to all projectiles. Nice. I don't know what the heck her combo was earlier where she was just like smacking the shit out of that one guy. There we go. Hopefully. I can. What was that? Interesting. Also, why does it look like there's an item over there, but I don't. Oh, wait. Hold on. Sorry, Rookie, you're gonna have to handle that for a second. I've currently gotten distracted. Oh, hey, they came to me. Good. Grabbing a couple of items. All right, all right. I guess I'll help now. Yeah, take that. All right, I need to build up some more of my combo gauge. I'm curious, because yeah, so far it's like we're just fighting, but I'm assuming at some point we'll get to the bosses, or a boss. Also, we don't have a jump button in this game. Okay. okay. So, always, always the thing I gotta do in games, like, what can I smack? And if I smack it, will it give me something? The camera angle is a little funky when trying to move around in this game. Like I said, if it wasn't for the inverted controllers, I wouldn't have the issue at all. So it's just kind of something I gotta, you know, semi adapt to. So, where was this game wanting me to go? Possibly somewhere over here. Come on, camera angles. All right. There we go. Those are like the. They never really did. Well, I mean, they kind of used them. The, the Soul Reapers had like these weird butterflies they used for like communication. So it looks like you kind of collect those throughout. That's definitely interesting. I wonder if they're possibly the. Because I saw there's a Udahara's gal Gallery, so I'm assuming you could probably collect like art and stuff as you progress to the game. Let's try to see if I could. There's some sort of menu options for adjusting the, the camera inversion, but it does not appear there is. So I guess we will just have to kind of deal with that. Oh shit, okay. See, so now we get a boss. Yeah, 
Eat his ass, Rukia. More of the enemies. Every time I keep getting to where like the camera's like just off the enemy, so I'm just kind of swimming. The question is, is there are items around here. There is. Actually, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, he followed me. Hold on, let me get up. Got him down. I could just okay, I think we got him. I just switched to Rookie for a second. I was like, all right, I need to get a little bit of distance away from him. Yeah, we got a rank B. Okay, so I guess apparently the more times you team up with certain characters, you can actually apparently up upgrade their friendship. So I wanted to see real quick. I saw Urahara's gallery. Have we unlocked anything? Okay, I'm guessing that was just a video. Okay, so I think it's a... Oops, I did not mean to... Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. As much as I would love to play that opening, I don't feel like getting claimed on YouTube. This is okay, so... I guess saying as you go throughout the game, and then you right off the bat, you kind of unlock certain things, or different arts and videos. Alright, let's go back to R. Mission select. But mission 3. Looks like we're in a shopping district or a mall. Alright, we'll Ichigo and... Oh, I mess around with Orihime. See, what is Khan doing this time? I think this is the first one we got. Okay, now we're more in the streets. Got a guy back here. And now we got him. So it kind of gives him the trigger for straightening my camera out because it does help a little bit. Oh, that hit nobody. So 
these guys can actually kind of shoot projectiles at me. That must be kind of a semi-boss and everything. Definitely at least tougher than the other guys. Those guys actually finally got a little bit more damage on me, mainly because, what was it? They can actually do a little bit projectile attacks. I believe down here is where we're just unlocked. I feel like the, yeah, the camera is like the only downside of this game. So other than that, it's an entertaining enough game, but yeah, like the camera's just like, oh my god. Ah. So Arahina, you're gonna have to kinda handle those guys on your own. Just a sec. At some point I definitely do, there we go. I was gonna say, I definitely need to find some health items and what do you know, one's right there. Oh look, they even came to greet me. How oh, fucking thoughtful. Now yeah, we got this next area done. Question is... No, okay. I was gonna say, can I just cut through there? Come on, camera. There we go. Can't tell if I'm going the right way. I assume. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am. Uh oh. We got Renji Abarai. Look how they gave him the freaking uh, dramatic opening. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of a uh, Cowboy Bebop, like the openings it did for that. Ichigo versus Renji. Let's see, is Colin drawing this time? Oh, he's drawing that one again. Alright, we'll see how this fight goes. So Renji, I have a feeling, is probably definitely going to be pretty decently tough. Huh, so apparently if he's already knocked on the ground, my special attack does not affect him, unfortunately. Right, so that's something to look out for. Come on, over here, man, let's beat his ass! Yeah, here. 
got attack boost. So why did that again? Now, do we have any health items laying around? We do. Renji, hold it. Give me a fucking second, bro. Okay, there we go. Seems like there's somewhat following the story, or at least it's following the story settings. Okay, I was gonna say. It's kind of funny because like the battle music was like, oh, the, the song ended and it was just like quiet for them. Okay. There we go. Wait, I think we got him. I think we fucking beat him. Rank C. Did take a little bit more damage on that one. See, where are they going to put us next? Maybe Soul Society or... No, I have a feeling we'll be having to fight Rukia's uh, brother. Let's go ahead and brute strength with Chad this time. For me. And Chad is like rushing in there. He's like, no, I'm beating all their asses. Okay, Chad. So Chad's kind of the brute strength, so we're going to find... What was it? Fight Rookie's brother? He'd be the guy to go with right now. Technically, I don't think he even figured that out. Attack out, so like... He got the Soul Society. Or before they went to Soul Society. I think they trained a little bit with Udahara. It's fine. We like, we like to mess with the timeline just a little bit. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're good. So, uh, the nice thing is, be if they kind of showed you where that. I'm definitely. Let's go ahead and grab this so we don't just lose it. So, let's open up this area. I'm assuming we'll have to backtrack a little bit. Make a possible turn. Yep. Okay, cool. Luckily, the map's not like super big, so it's usually fairly easy not to get lost. Damn, Chad, you freaking took them out. Is do we have to fight a Kuchin? Okay, we're 
Get his ass, Chad. Yeah. This one just need to go straight. Oh no. Now let's see here. Where do you want us to go? We go here. No, okay, so that's where I got a barrier. Sorry, I'm trying to fight this camera. There we go. Okay, I guess we just have to backtrack a little bit. Maybe we have to fight more of these guys in order to unlock that barrier up ahead. Let, let us see. Yeah, Chad got some fucking strength to him. Still. What about in here? Here we are. Guys, guys, we're over here. here. fast. Keep forgetting I have this little dash move. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, don't tell me you're not, you're gonna go like, nope, you can't go back to that area now. Alright, now. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, if I had this game back when, you know, my PS2, I would have probably been entertained by it, because, like I said, back when Bleach came out, I was like, yes, the series is amazing. This is everything. I was literally like watching it on my PSP, my iPod, just any way I could. Then in, back then, like any bleach merch I could find in any stores is like, oh my god, I can't believe I found something that had bleach on it. But yeah, back basically when I became a fan of it, this wasn't introduced to the US at all, so pretty much any bleach stuff I could find had the, was basically imported, so god damn it. Get off me. There we go. So yeah, back in the day it was like super hard to find. Now we're sort of getting figures and everything. Actually just recently Bleach has actually started getting popular again because of the Thousand Year Blood War. A lot of you guys. So do we have any health items hiding around here? Can't look at it. Can I smack the boxes? I can smack the boxes. Oh, would you look at that? What about the phone? Do not smack the phone. Alright, who 
we fighting? Oh, shit. I have not even seen that one. I think this is just one of them just made for the game. Oh, he's a, oh fuck. He's a big boy. Hold on. I'm going to go grab our fucking life recovery real quick. All right, Chad. This is where your brute strength's going to really uh, shine here. This boss seems like a little bit more difficult. So how am I supposed to actually... Okay, I feel like it... Oh, yeah, I have to get him over here. Okay. So he lunges forward, I gotta get him. Alright, that makes more sense. Just gonna watch out for this. What is that over here? Life recovery. Oops. This is a tough part. I was trying to do one of these missions where you got to run around and also deal with the freaking janky camera. Ow. Okay, I don't know. We might lose this one, unfortunately. Because I either cannot see him or the camera is just literally just so bad that I can't. We can get an actual gauge on him. There we go. I think. Can we attack him right here? There we go. Okay. Ah, I need to switch to Chad because Ichigo is running pretty low on health. So I just need to wait for him. Is that, is that easy? Oh, no, that actually will stun chat. Okay, I was gonna say, is that an easy way just to cheese it? Is I can just sit there and block only and that's it? Damn, okay. Get up, get up. I can't see. I'm not quite sure we're going to pass this one just because it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. One, just trying to actually keep an actual sight on them. Like, they had a lock on feature, that'd be amazing, but unfortunately, this game does not have one. So, unless there's like some way to change, like, like I said, if I could just change the inverted part aspect of the game. Oh great, he's doing this shit again. Can I block these? Okay, so he only has. Ouch. So. Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't. Like I said, I, I'm trying, but I'm literally, like I said, I'm fighting the camera right now. Just trying to basically not get hit and also be able to keep my eyes on the natural enemy. We, barely, we don't even have his health down like halfway yet. So if I can keep a better eye on him, that'd be amazing, but unfortunately, it's just. Not working out well. Can I just block these? Okay, now so I can block like one, but two is too much. It's got a nice rock track to this. Issue is just not being able to see shit. Oh God, okay, he's doing that again. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty freaking sure we're losing this one. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I had a good feeling we weren't going to pass that, but... No, poor Cohen. Like I said, also, not, yeah, not too bad. Like I said, the only thing I would want to see is if I could figure out a way just to fix the camera. Because if I can do that, I'll make trying to, you know, keep track of the enemy and dodge him a little bit easier. All in all, I think that is where we're going to be leaving off for this game. Let me guys know what you think. Uh, if you guys do want me to basically continue playing this, I will definitely try it. But I'll make sure yeah, uh, have a save ready for this in case anybody wants to see more. But that's about it. Like I said, it was entertaining. But all in all, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you were new here, uh, consider subscribing. And if you guys did like this video, maybe slap a like on it. Let me know what your favorite part of Bleach is or if there's any other Bleach games that you remember and that you enjoy playing.